Hello, Mary. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, you recently moved back to Texas, correct? Yes, I'm very fortunate to be back in the great state of Texas. After studying at the Sam Houston State University in the 90s, um, I've come full circle and love living here. Moved here in 2018. Uh, you're in Fort Bay County now? Yes, uh -huh. in Fulcher, Texas. Wonderful. Can you talk to us a little bit about the work that you've got right around you here that looks so beautiful, beautiful ribbon-like environment? Thank you very much. Uh, I'm just so excited to be here. This, uh, this particular work is indicative of more contemporary uh, work than I have done in the past. And I discovered a fabulous clay called paper clay that can be fired at really high temperatures or any temperature, it's very versatile. And you still see the organic or Mother Nature uh, themes that I was working with before, still coming through with these three pieces. And these other pieces that remind me of strips of ribbon that it's easy to carve out of paper clay because it's so thin and it's strong, so I can go lighter and bigger with my pieces. And I love stripping it and forming it until it resulted in an end piece, which is what I've always wanted to do, is spontaneous imagery. Can you talk a little bit about air, the air going through your artwork? Yeah, that's, that's a really big idea that's quite important to me is not only the fluidity of line and the movement and rhythm uh, of line work, but the relationship between positive and negative space. So you'll see that idea flowing through all of my work that is very expressive uh, and it gives it a certain amount of rhythm and movement. field, I, I think that I, along with all other artists, we want to see what it is that we can do. Or it's like, what's inside of me that can be expressed visually, um, which was really the reason I went back to school, to learn how to express myself visually. So I was very, very fortunate to have that whole self-development time in my life, um, and it continues always, uh, expressing myself visually. I always wanted to do things that were spontaneous, and not really planning out the end result of anything, but to pick up clay when clay became my realization of wanting to use that medium um, because it's just the field is so wide and it's so intense and there's so much that you can do with it um, so it was it's been a wonderful journey of just becoming acquainted with clay and to see these surprised endings one thing that was very important to me was that whole idea of rhythm. And we talked about that before with the movement that you can do with this particular medium. And this piece is really indicative of um, learning to title my work. So when I picked up this piece, which has a matte turquoise finish on it, I looked at it for a while and then realized that it reminded me of a lady swirling her skirts and dancing, so I titled it Dancing in the Wind. The other thing that I was working with was creating patterns by uh, 
layering clays with no glaze. And it was so wonderful and marvelous to have these patterns emerge that was quite surprising. And so this is part of the excitement for me is that there's all kinds of ways that we can express ourselves and that's why I make clay.